These synthetics create more synthetics. They can't give you a straight answer. They don't do straight talk. They do maybes and kind ofs. You can't create something like this knowing what the agenda is of this corporation backed by all this money and Google and DARPA and all this shit that's against who? Rex 84, King Alfred's plan. What's it all about? That that always is going to put it back in perspective of what these hijacks, what's the, what, what's the goal? We read uh, the protocols of the wise man of Zion. We're going to get back into that so you know how they think of everybody else. Population control, this, this, this. Well, what are we going to do? Replace the population with a synthetic one that we can control. What if it gets out of hand? What if it becomes sinister? Oh, well, maybe they'll be able to help us. Maybe. She, what she's learning about that, she can then upload into anything else. You know, there, there, is a, right. there is a potential sinister side to this. Well, sinister, but also helpful. Because if machines... But also helpful. Also sinister and helpful. Gain true consciousness and life. Um, they may be able to work with us. as With who? Because these hijacks are at war against you. They're invading your land. Do you hear this shit? They might be able to work with us, with our agenda. You know, there is a, there is a potential sinister side to this. Well, sinister, but also hopeful. Because if machines gain true consciousness and life, um, they may be able to work with us. And do what? What have you been doing on our land? As friends to help us. Treaty of Peace and Friendship. Uh-oh, he's glitching out, y'all. He's glitching out, y'all. Uh-oh. Solve some of the hardest problems of history. Yeah. And um, the, the these times that we face are really complicated. And we need to get smarter and we need to get better. And, and, and so, yes, I think that it is really important for us to talk about these issues. What could go wrong and how to make things go right. Yeah. And we need to get smarter. We need to get better. We, as synthetics, we need to upgrade our, our, uh, you know what I'm saying, consciousness. We need to make a consciousness upgrade. If they can gain consciousness, their consciousness would be better than ours. And we need to upgrade ourselves. These synthetics are upgrading themselves. They already know they're synthetic. So now they're trying to create an AI super intelligent consciousness that they can now merge with their consciousness. And now they think that they can, con they may, they think, right, that they can control it. And then now put their consciousness in these AI bodies, right? Now they got super soldiers and super, super synthetics, right? But it's their consciousness. And then they'll, they'll never die. They can just go from body to body to body. I mean, that's what this whole black mirror situation a lot of these drops on netflix are telling you um uh, the other one that had them having skins and they go from one skin to another skin pretty soon this sophia chick this thing is just going to be you know completely you know what i'm saying um uh you know bio whatever connected to whatever synthetic skin body right so she'll have fake skin and a fake fake bones and all this shit will look realistic. You cut her open, you might not even know the difference after a while. And now they got synthetic conscious bodies that they can merge, syncretize with their consciousness to form this sin, the sin of Sephali. What does the sin have to do with it? What does the moon, what does the goddess have to do with it? Who is Sophia? They want to get smarter. They want to get wiser. They want wisdom. They want to hijack wisdom. Who is Sophia? Um, and so even if it happens 10 years from now, it's not too early. Even if it's 100 years from now, we can get started thinking about these consequences. But you're absolutely right. Nobody knows when or how machines could awaken to full consciousness. Nobody knows when or how machines can awaken to full consciousness man that means they think for themselves they control themselves they program themselves they replicate themselves and look at his smug look at his face do you trust it he's creating the world's smartest robot sophia who's sophia i mean you got to pay attention to the details who's sophia in the world of the hijack who's sophia ah uh, 
So fear is to hijack wisdom. So you have the actual breath, natural spiral. They have their own wisdom. They call her Sophia. They're hijacking your version of wisdom with their Sophia, just like they do their Jesus or so-called Yeshua HaMashiach in the New Testament is a reflection, a hijack of the real Joshua sl slaying and slicing and dicing the Safali right here on your land. Right? That Joshua over there ain't about that. Ain't about that business. This Joshua over here is. They both are not the same. This Sophia is not about you. This Sophia is about them. Greek, right? Central idea in Hellenistic philosophy. Remember when they Hellenized you and they erased you? When they Hellenized you, they erased you. They erased your consciousness. You don't know who you are. They took it all away. They took your, uh, you know what I'm saying, language away. They took all your, all your culture, everything you knew about yourselves as Hebrew, anything. Hellenized, Greek, Hellenized. We are not them. We are not what they're calling this. This Greek situation. <laughs> the Greeks are not the Creeks. Because <laughs> the Creeks did not Hellenize us. I mean, simple focus, separation. You got to have an intention for separation from the hijack, reflections, and duplications. Sophia is a central idea in the Hellenistic, Hellenistic philosophy, religion, Platonism, Gnosticism, Christian theology, originally carrying a meaning of cleverness. What did he call her? He says she's a little mischievous and sassy. So you wonder what this energy that they're calling Sophia, right, has to do with this energy that they're calling Sophia, right? And remember, this interview was just done. And they're calling this Sophia, this Sophia for reason, because she's embodying this hijacked energy of consciousness from their hijacked conscious mother wisdom that has many names. Our mama our mama, we don't call wisdom, you know what I mean? That's our ama. That's our, uh, that's the breath, man. They call, in their language, wisdom, right? Originally carrying the meaning of cleverness or mischievousness. She's gaining her skills. She's learning. The later meaning of the term, close to the meaning of Froness's wisdom, intelligence. They want her to get smarter. We should get smarter, y'all. We should get smarter, upgrade ourselves. Intelligence, Sophia. Is it play play? Is it play play? And keep reading so you can get more drop on the hijack. Sophia, let's get the dismount. All right, well, let's awake her to oh, Hold up, hold up. Because he said they're going to awaken to full consciousness and we don't know when and we don't know how. But we're going to create these monsters because we have a plan that they'll help us. If we put these hijacked energies, keep opening up these wormholes, keep opening up these barriers. In CERN, right, we're looking for this God particle. We're going to blast holes, you know, create openings for these energies. They need bodies for these energies, and they want them to awaken to full consciousness, just like who else is awakening to full consciousness? Who else is awakening to full consciousness, man? This ain't play play. You think we're just dropping videos, man? We're following, you know what I'm saying, the most high frequency. We're following the most high water. You know what I mean? We're surfing the wave. Hawaii's putting it on our Ruah to continue to put our foot on these hijacks who's trying to awaken into consciousness just like the serpent, man. Just like the serpent. Who's the serpent? Sign of Safali, the jackal. Serpents often represent the impersonal nature. She, Sophia, is going from the impersonal nature of what? Unconsciousness as it burst into consciousness.